In middle school, it was Pokemon. In high school, it was the occult. Hello, interwebs, and welcome back. I'm Shanna, and this way I share my life and stories and vision opinions and whatever else I feel like. And today we are back with another Webtoons spooky, creepy story, and I will leave the link to the story down in the description box below. Make sure to go check it out so you can show the author and the artist some love. But let's go ahead and get into the next story. So we are on episode number 10, Hand Grider, by Hyung Suk Young. I feel like that name is longer, but I can't read the rest of it, so let's see if it repeats it again. The following is a special chiller, thriller, which may include shocking scenes. Viewer discretion is advised for pregnant women and the elderly and those with weak hearts. I just had a hiccup. All right, volume is on. <clears throat> Coffee, coffee yours? Is that what that says? Coffee yours, interesting, okay. Are you insane? Creak. The rumors are true. You actually put a cursed amulet in Professor Jung's lab? Cursed? It's just a spell to make him come back to me. Crunch. You've finally lost it. Grr. Do you have any idea what people from our major are saying about you? They say you should be hospitalized because you're so dangerous. I don't care. Crunch. Grr. Excuse me, don't you have any manners? Could you try to keep it down? Sorry. The hand grinder is being especially noisy today. Hand Grinder, story by Hyung Suk Young, and art by Chai Eun Lee. Do you have to do that right now? It's best to grind the beans while they're still fresh. Whatever. Do you have to be so noisy like this? The lady here has requested a special drink. It's hard to grind with a regular grinder. Interesting how her nails are red and that's the only thing that's in color. She's so picky. Ever since she was little, she's always been a bit odd. The kids at school found 20 uneaten rolls of bread in the trash. Did you do this? None of the ones I opened had a toy in them. So you threw them all out? Whenever she gets fixated on something, she sticks with it till the end. Some might say she's persistent. Others might call her a crazy bitch. In middle school, it was Pokemon. In high school, it was the occult. Here's your Panama Esmeralda Geisha special. And in university, it's been coffee. God, what? Did you say gay? This is the best coffee in the world. People call it the coffee of the gods. You only ever hear what you want to. And I'm going to give it to Professor Jung. I'm supposed to stop by his lab this afternoon and we're going to go on a date tonight. Love, an uneasy love. Dirt. Her heart will be ground into dust eventually. Stop biting your fingernails. How have you still not fixed that habit after 10 years? Tap. Oh, I feel like this, this red nail polish and nails are definitely gonna come into play later. Smack. Got some serious foreshadowing. She doesn't know. What it's been like staying by her side these last 10 years. And how I've hidden my feelings for her behind the title of childhood friend. By special coffee. Is it like that gay whatever one? It's not a high class coffee like the Panama Geisha. It's an original blend. I also mix something else in that she brought me. Not gay. What is with, I don't understand. Crunch. He can't get away from me. He'll come back. Crunch. 
we are meant to be. Stop biting your nails, girl. Would you stop it? You wanted it chilled, right? Clink. I'll extract it for you. Have you heard of the homing instinct? A force that guides people back to where they come from. There's a spell that uses that force. What the hell are you talking about? You have to steal something that people always carry with them and keep it. Then the object will draw its owner to itself and you can get closer to them. Wait, is that the professor's wedding ring? But that's not enough for me. So I kept wondering if there was a way to make the spell stronger. What else could want to get back to its home more than a silly object? It's coffee. Usually that color. The lady here has requested a special drink. It's hard to grind with a regular grinder. How can there be a coffee bean that can't be ground in a coffee grinder? I also mixed something else in that she brought me. Instead of holding on to something, wouldn't it be better to eat it? Hey, what did you grind in with the coffee? The extraction is complete. Originally, I had intended on eating the ring even if it were a bit hard. But it's much easier to eat the thing that the ring was attached to. Oh my God. Oh my God. Clink. Oh. Oh. Whoops. I thought the joke might have gone a bit far. Sorry, I should have stopped her. A joke? You're so stupid. How could you fall for that? Then what was that extra thing he told you added before? Hawaiian Kona Berry. It's a rare bean, and she said that it was hard to get. It's very small and hard, and it roasts very quickly, so it's hard to grind. But why was the coffee red? Red? What do you mean? Looks like someone's been watching too many horror movies. What were you thinking? Do you think it's fun messing around with people? Yeah, extremely. I feel so much less stressed. I haven't seen her smile like that in ages. She looked really happy. I didn't like being treated like an idiot, but I was just happy enough that I got to see her smile like that. That's what I thought. I was completely innocent at the time. Creak. Welcome. What would you like? An original blend. The ingredients are in here. It's her fingers and her fingernails. I'll have to get the hand grinder ready. Mm. For sure, for sure. Okay, that was an interesting story. I don't know if it was just because my brain is, is tired and I have a bit of a headache, but it felt like the flow of it was a little off. Maybe it was just me. You guys let me know, but it was an interesting story. Mm, I'd give it a three out of five ghosts, just personally. What do you guys think? Like I said, it might be me. My brain might be a little off because I've got a headache and I'm also busy, busy day, but I don't know. Let's read the comments. WTF, I thought the chick was supposed to be the weird one. Okay, just go and murder your crush and chop her hands off so you can drink them. Genius. But seriously, this was a good chapter. It wasn't exactly scary, but twisted on so many levels. I agree with that. It was very twisted, but not exactly scary. That awkward moment when you're drinking coffee while reading this. Always drinking coffee. Always. I literally just finished my coffee. <laughs> Whoa, and I thought she was the loopy one. I mean, yeah, but it seemed that she was joking and he was serious. Or was she joking? I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think about that one? That was an interesting read. Like I said, I give it a three out of five ghosts. Pretty good. Not the best, but pretty good story. Definitely twisted. I enjoyed 
the kind of twisted psychological aspect of it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it because that pretty much wraps it up for this one. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you don't know what to comment down below, leave a coffee cup emoji. Not only does it help up my channel a lot, but it lets me know that you're here. It gives us a chance to chat. And of course, I just love to see your faces down there. If you want to know the way to help out my channel down below, there'll be links to my website, my merch store, and my Patreon. There's zero obligation to check any of those out, but if you want to, you can. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate all of you so very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, hello there. Yes, uh, this is me casually drinking from my Ginky AF merch because, uh, I don't have any bloopers to share. But if you like my cup, or my shirt, or some leggings, or some socks, there's links in the description below. Be Ginky as and enjoy your coffee or tea or water or whatever else you like to drink from mugs. <laughs>